catch him up. Touch gloves, God bless. Well, Shane Erie, there is just a little bit of a doubt about that broken right hand he had in the last fight, whether that has properly healed. I think, though they've not said so publicly, we can say it now that the fight is about to start. One or two worries whether that uh, is okay. Now, let's look how much he throws that right hand, Glenn. Yes, well, he'll only know himself when he gets in the fight. I'm sure that there'll always be doubts when you've had a hand, probably that's going to no. reoccur, but he'll just know when he lands it. Almost sprinted out of his corner, Neary, who is an all-action type of operator, this ex-soldier. There's a bit of the Nigel Benner out about him, and he's looking to make his power count early on here. Gets through with the right hand as well, looking to catch this Jeremiah Melinga by surprise early on. Malinga responds pretty well to it. Well, I think this is why he's got such a, a good ball, and he's a real all-action type fighter with real value for money, Neary. And he always wants to, to put on a show, and he's already getting oh, through. He's put on a show with that shot, all right. The left hook. Malinga, will he be able to go on? It's only the first round. He was up very, very quickly. Steve Smoger takes a look at him. He's been operating as a lightweight before at round nine, stone nine. Here he's up against a full-blown light welter. And these punches are hurting him. He'll do well to get through this round. Here he is letting these punches fly. And how? He's going for broke in this opening round. Here he is. Now the right hand. Steve Smoker, I think he's trying to stop it. He looked like he was jumping in. Down he goes again for the second time. He's up very quickly at four. There is no three knockdown rule. That means that if Malinga goes down again, it is not an automatic stoppage. We may not get that far. Explosive performance from Shane Neary. Malinga looks all out, Glenn. He really does. The power's really telling from Neary. Malinga's bravely trying to fight back, but he's just too, too much strength Neary has. the right hand there was no worries about it there another left hook some referees would have stepped in already Melinga is fighting on instinct his legs are rubber his eyes are in orbit he hardly knows where he is in there and look at the way he's turning this around what bravery by this South African yes he's very very brave he got through with a couple of decent punches himself Well, it's just gone five past nine and Neary's fighting like he's got a train to catch at ten past. Again, clubbing left hooks from Neary. He's got good power in that punch. And still, there's 25 seconds for Malinga to survive. How has he got through this so far? The two and a half minutes we've had must seem like two and a half hours to him. this South African comeback, what bottle from him, what grit, what guts, that was some opening round, Oof. and the fans who paid up to £60 for their tickets here have already got their money's worth in one three minute dose. Have you got a mint? A mint? Try this, it's even better. Mmm, Wrigley's Extra, chewing gum. Hey, this is good. I guess they call them extra because they're extra minty. Yeah. Extra cool. Yep. Extra flavor. Yeah, but the real extra is chewing is good for your teeth. Brilliant. And they're mine. Wiggy's extra sugar-free gum. Great for your teeth and all the great taste of a mint. There you see, got all his power into that left hook. He went down hard, Malinga, but jumped straight back up. It didn't look as if he was going to get through it after that punch but he came back so well even at the end of the round having Neary on the corner on the ropes here it is again just another angle he really got some power really just got his way twisted at the right time and what a beautiful punch 10 seconds corners there's the second knockdown there's another left hook and you would have given long odds against Malinga getting through the round at that point. 
Round very, two. very brave, and he, you know, he did so well to get through it, and then so well to try and get Neary on the ropes and punch back at the end of the round. Well, this Shane Neary is super fit. I was going to ask the question whether he might have punched himself out, but I don't think so. Malinga covering up, trying to buy time, trying somehow to get some kind of foothold in this fight. The heads got dangerously close together there. Now the left hook. That really rocked Malinga as well. He did well to stay on his feet. And the cumulative effect of it makes him go down. He needs a break. Steve Smoger wants a timeout now. There looks to be cut damage as well. The doctor's going to have a look at Jeremiah Malinga. He's blinking heavily. He might not be allowed to go on in this fight. Cuts. And they're letting Malinga go on. It must have been touch and go, that decision. It must have been. They've allowed the doctor to come in and have a look. I'm not sure whether he got a thumb in the eye or, or whether there's a, there's a cut there. But he certainly he's disturbed. And another good left hook from Neary. It does look only a matter of time for Shane Neary. Before he retains his version of the light welterweight crowd. Another uppercut. He just can't take this power. The weight differential is hard enough at the best of times, but when you're in with a man who can punch like Neary. Well, Malinga's certainly very game. A lot of lesser fighters wouldn't have took this amount. He's trying somehow to throw some leather back, Malinga. Here he's just getting his gloves up. He's become a slightly better boxer since Judas Clotty moved in and started to teach him that he couldn't expect to blast everybody out. And that served him well against Daryl Tyson last time. Straight right, very punishing shot. Courage beyond the call of duty from Jeremiah Malinga. He's just got to try and measure measure Malinga a little more, just got to have some ragged work, and he'll find the punch. Neary just can't quite finish the job at the moment, but we may only be seconds away from that. There's blood around Neary's left eye as well. I'm not sure if it's rubbed off or if he's got a cut. Another heavy, meaty-looking left hook from Neary, who breathes a little heavier. He's thrown an awful lot of punches already. He's still got enough of his wits about him, Malinga, to get on his bike. He's doing well to survive. Well, how is he doing it, this South African? How is he staying in there? Some of the action, he's very eager, Neary, just missing with a couple of shots there. He's just a little better when he uses his jab and looks to measure his punch. That's where he's had a success with the left hook. The word from the referee, by the way, is that the cut was caused by a punch. It's not an accidental clash of heads or anything like that. So if the cut forces an early stoppage, that will be in Neary's favour. They won't go to the scorecards. Third round. Miracle it's got this far. The Liverpool fighter, again, really exciting his growing legion of fans on Merseyside. the head back of Malinga. Nearly measured the punch as well. He got him on the end of the jab and then put them two together. But again, Malinga fights back bravely. Desperately throwing punches, hoping that somehow he can worry Neary, Malinga. Quite a comeback.
back, isn't it, by the South African. Yes, he's thrown lots of punches, but now he's doing all right in there. He's holding his hands up. He looks, you know, he's relaxed. He's watching, watching the punches, looking for his own space. Of course, the problem for Malinga, he's throwing a lot of leather. Will he leave a gap for a counter shot? That's what Neary is waiting for, I'm sure. Well, they said this fellow was a tough operator. I don't think we realized how tough. Yes, they said that he was good and he was tough. Well, he's really stood up to a lot of good punches. There's a lot of damage and a lot of blood running into his eyes, making it even more difficult for him. The blood looks bad and it may well be obscuring the vision. What a nightmarish beginning for Malinga. What an exciting performance by Neary. Well, Malinga throwing an awful lot of punches, but missing with the vast majority of them. In his last flight, fight, the South African got off the floor to win a Commonwealth title eliminator. Got through with a good left hand there. Neary, who's trained long and hard for this one. There was a previously projected date for it, so the preparation's been longer than usual. And he is uh, a manic trainer. Well, it's obvious Malinga's trained long and hard for this fight because he's still... Oh, left hook! Left hook again! Got up with the count at about four. The count's at eight. Is he going to be allowed to go on? No, he isn't. It is over. In the third round, Shane Erie has retained his WBU version of the light welterweight championship in three frenzied rounds here. A good performance from Neary. He really he was tough in there. He just kept the pressure on. The left who always looked at punch that was going to do it. And he finally got the, the right shot in there. Well, Malinga covered himself with, with pride. He was very, very brave. And how he managed to stand up to so many punches and still carry on trying to fight back. Well, Jeremiah Malinga covered himself in glory and defeat and really uh, should pin a badge on him. Yes, he really came here to get the, the title, but... It was a beautiful, more uh, uh, an uppercut like left hook that did it, but a very good, very powerful punch. Just seems to turn the punch, doesn't he, at the last moment? Yes, he just sort of brought it up. It was a left hook, but he brought it, he brought it upwards. But it was a, a good, a good punch, and I think you know, there was no way he could carry on Malinga. It's another glory night for Shane Neary, and he might be winning a few more sports bowls and. Uh, it's about time, really, that he started to get some more nationwide recognition because we do have a world-class light welterweight here. We do, and I'm sure he will because he's an exciting fighter. I think people will like to watch him. You see the following that he has, and I'm sure the following will only get bigger. Just think about it. Shane Neary against Julio Cesar Chavez in some huge arena. Maybe you have to put up a big tent on the Albert Dock or something in Liverpool. That might sell a ticket or two, mightn't it? <laughs> sure it would. That, would. that would really be a terror, wouldn't it? Because both of them like to fight. Neary, you know, he, he can throw a good jab, but he, you know, he likes to get in there. He likes to give value for money, and he's a real, you know, he's a real fighter. Well, they say he'll fight anybody, and he may not get the worldwide recognition until he fights one of the more established champions like Adela Hoya, Costa Shu, Carly Dralu, Giovanni Parisi. Let's get the official announcement here. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the third round, referee Steve Smoker stops the contest. The winner, and still undefeated, World Boxing Union, right, away champion of the world, the Shamrock Express, Neary! Ladies and gentlemen of Liverpool, would you please show your respect for a very game challenger indeed, Jeremiah Malinga. Well, the crowd 
crowd is applauding the bravery of Jeremiah Malinga from South Africa. Bravery really beyond the call of duty, outgunned really by a man more at home, certainly in the light welterweight division. And Shane Neary retains the ownership of this WBU World Light Welterweight title belt. It would be interesting, certainly, to get the thoughts of Barry McGuigan, Jim Watt, and Nicky Piper in just a few moments. But let's hear from the winner first with Ian. Here he is, Shane Neary. He's uh, still WBU champion. That was uh, what Nigel Benn used to call a right old tear-up, wasn't it? It certainly was, uh, Ian. It was a um, hard fight. And you, you know, you look at the reception he's getting from the fans. He's coming here. He hasn't come in here to uh, lie down. He's uh, come to give a game performance, and that's what he's done. What a brave, brave man. You must have thought you were never going to put him away, and you were hitting him with everything. He kept coming, he kept coming back, like... Um, but uh, I got there, like... Were you happy with your own performance in there? It was certainly exciting. Uh, I, I'm an exciting fighter, to be honest with you, yeah, but um, I need to learn a lot, like, but I'm still winning, you know. What do you need to learn? A lot. Judas will tell me. I don't know it, otherwise I would have done it in Mary, you know. Your trainer, Judas Clotty. So, um, what would be the future for him? We've got John Highland here. Um, this Liverpool thing, the Mersey beat's getting louder, isn't it? Well, thanks very much to Sky and, and to all this Liverpool public who have backed us all the way. But I'd like to just say what an incredible interview he's just given. He's such a modest fighter. I think he's had everyone standing on the heels and he's just said he's got a lot to learn. Listen, this fighter will fight any light welterweight in the world. He's proved he's world class in the Tyson fight. Again, he's, he's done a, a fantastic performance. He's a strong fighter. I think, you know, Sky are delivering yet again another exciting fight. We've had the Nigel Benz, we've had the Chris Eubanks. We've got the Nazi Mammoth. Now we've got Shea, the Shamrock Express, Neary, and he's here. And he's going to stay here for quite a while because we're going to make sure. And he's not going away from any like welterweight in the world. And I really mean that. The pound for pound best fighter in the world is Oscar De La Roya. But I know if Shea Neary hits Oscar De La Roya, which he's been down twice before, this man has got the power to beat any like welterweight in the world. And I'm not just lying to him myself, boys, or trying to poke. He just spoke and gave an interview to the, to the most modest fighter in the world. This man is a throwback. He is exactly what the interviews say. Sky have seen, lived with him in the last couple of days, and we've seen what type of man he is. And the interview complex that Shane Neary, we've got to bring it out, and that, that, that personality holds in you. To me, you're the best fighter in the world. He's a, very, he's a very modest and straightforward kind of guy, but when he gets in the ring, he does the talking there, and I think that's the most important thing. Now, there are a lot of big stars in this light welterweight division, and I guess, I mean, you're proud of that WBU belt, but I think the wider world would probably like to see you in now with a Chavez, a De La Hoya. I mean, these are exciting ideas. What do you think about them? As far as I'm concerned, Ian, you know, um, John Arnold's looking after me, Mundo Island, um, whoever they put me in with, you know, I'll... You know, I'll train as hard as I can, I'll give 100% in the gym and in the ring. As I said, I've said many times before, you know, I'd rather die in there and, you know, come out or lose a like, but, I'd, you know, I'll give it all in Mary. And I thank you and Sky and all the public for watching me tonight. What about these fans you've got here? I mean, this atmosphere at Everton is, is unique. Um, your performance today was a bit better than Everton's, wasn't it? Yeah, Everton got beat 2-0. Um, but um, this, this place here, you know, there's, there's fans outside, you know, because there's nothing at our door today, you know, 15, 20, 30 fans coming. This place isn't quite big enough, you know, to get the full atmosphere. But, you know, hopefully we'll get there in the end, you know, hopefully with Sky and, you know, with the public of Liverpool. I'd like to thank them very much. John Highland just wants to say one quick thing, very briefly, John. We do apologise to all the Liverpool people who have missed this fight. They voted them Echo Sports Personality of the Year. That's what Liverpool thinks of Shane Neary. Shane Neary wanted to prove to his Liverpool public that we will be defending in Liverpool for his first defence. We will have to leave the, we will have to leave the city after this fight. Thank you very much. Well done tonight. So the